I always wanted to be a rock and roll photographer, do album covers, uh, shoot for Rolling Stone magazine, that kind of stuff. But as I got older, I realized that my favorite rock and roll was very blues oriented. So I thought, why don't you find out if there's opportunities to photograph blues artists? And yeah, definitely. I started spinning blues, soul, and Zydeco music back in 1985. It's given me the opportunity to share my favorite music, and really, it's, now it's essentially a, a century's worth of music, because I think the earliest record I'll play is 1920. What better situation than to be able to photograph an artist when you have access to them? I, have, I take a, a mini disc recorder with me, and, and I ask them if I can interview them. And most blues artists are happy to have you to be interviewed because blues doesn't get the attention that pop and rock music gets. Blues is way down uh, on the pecking order. I would say my blues photos in the exhibit capture peak moments, somebody playing a guitar solo, a piano solo, um, or they're really tight portraits. I, pursue opportunities to photograph people with interesting faces, with lines that show that they've had some life experiences. I have a tendency of uh, being attracted to photograph blues musicians that are 70, 75, 80, 85, 90 years old. And I think those pictures are an important historical record as well. So there's a lot of those pictures within what I have on display.